everybody stands on the shoulders of who came before them. When we're gone, what will be left of us? Journalism and its mission in the world, its place in the world, it's crucial. What will our legacy be? How will my children remember me? Can I shape who they will become? We want our boys to be, be proud of you know, where they come from. Finding answers to these questions is what brought me to Nashville. It's how I ended up in one of the city's poorest neighborhoods, on some of the city's most dangerous streets, talking to Demetrius McKnight. You got like um, working class people that you know, really don't choose to be here. But... Demetrius has called these projects home for five years. She doesn't have a job and often can't afford food. Dreams of living is just like, it's like really big around here. Just you making it from day to day to day to day. Yeah. That's the reality of it, you know. There's no, there's so no just, room for dreams outside of that. No. Not for, not for some people. <laughs> Lost, heartbroken. He was my best friend, my cousin. Finding hope in a place like this often seems impossible. It's just so difficult to imagine enduring. Yeah. And, um, but you have to always, you have to just, you just have to push through, you know? But like the light which shines in our motto, Demetrius is finding her own way with the help of her community. What do you like to do? Like, what do you love? I love helping others. That's my passion. When she can't afford food, Demetrius and hundreds of other families turn to Second Harvest Food Bank. With help from the Scripps Howard Foundation's community fund, they are able to give people hope. Do you feel they do a, a, a good job of m making sure people feel like uh, like there's dignity in being here? Oh, most definitely, yeah. yeah. We are very proud of this city, uh, but there are two stories to this city, and we, we live on the other side of the story. Solving that. Nashville's hunger problem is not an easy conversation to have, especially when people like Demetrius are forced to choose between paying rent and buying groceries. Like, because I'm going through that, like, right now, you know, not being able to um, sustain myself because it's like so much that I want to do, but I, I can't. Daddy, keep me up so, so I can back, pack the bags. This is why doing good for the communities we serve is vital. Who is on the bottom. It's why I brought Felix and Denzel with me, so they could pack emergency bags for the hungry. Now seal it up. <laughs> All right. I want them to understand the kind of responsibility that's been entrusted to our family. Yes. You know, I want my children to know that that, you know, we are trying to carry forth the legacy of not just E.W., but of Robert Payne and of Charles and Bob and um, my grandmother and her, her brothers and sisters. We want our boys to be grateful and to give back to others, give to others who don't have as much as they do. I don't have that much, have that many opportunities to speak to people like Demetrius. We hope that when we're gone, we'll be remembered for something good. It's nice meeting you, Charlie. I do good. How we hand down that legacy is in our hands.